Roy headed north all the way. According to his previous analysis of the contents of the notebook, it is very likely that there is also human civilization in the Dark Continent. After all, there will be civilizations everywhere, either humans or other races. In short, civilizations exist, and they are not barbaric civilizations. If you want to survive in the Dark Continent and at the same time figure out your own situation, then you must have some contact. Being able to get in touch with and human civilization here is naturally the best. Because human civilization is not barbaric after all, it is reasonable. If you encounter those barbaric civilizations, you will be in trouble, and unreasonable is the most troublesome. I don't know how far I went all the way north, and I saw a big lake surrounded by a lot of lush green vegetation. It stands to reason that plants must grow well where there is water. But Roy was really careful, because he found some weirdness in these vegetation. The vegetation seems to have mutated in some way. Roy carefully touched a flower in front of him. The flower withered in a very strange instant, and turned into a heavy smoke. Damn. What's going on? Roy frowned. And the most outrageous thing is that these plants seem to have self-awareness, which is the most terrifying. As the saying goes, you are not afraid of ghosts and ghosts, but you are afraid that normal things will become abnormal. This place is not right, I have to get out of this ghost place quickly, and it seems that someone is watching. Roy could clearly feel that someone was staring at him in the dark, the other party was well hidden, and he couldn't find him in a short time. But it doesn't matter. Gotta get out of this shitty place, because who knows what's going to happen if you stay any longer. I have experienced too many battles before, which consumes a lot of energy. At this time, I have to take a good rest and replenish myself, but I am being targeted by these ghosts and snakes again. The things on the dark continent are all weird and weird. Roy has to be vigilant all the time. After all, the other side of these guys' weirdness is their strength. Their strength is the most terrifying. Whether it was the giant giant before or the spider, he tried his best, otherwise he would have no chance of winning, but now it looks like the dark continent, he is not as scary as in the legend. After all, many people are passing it on. There are many strong people who entered the dark continent, and in the end there were only bones left, and they died as soon as they entered, and they could not live for a few days at all. But it was almost a day since I came in, and the sun was about to set. But so far, he has not found that the color of human civilization is the most important point, no matter how to find that human civilization and human civilization depend on each other is the most important. Roy intends to move quickly through this generation of vegetation. Because these plants are a bit weird, and the vitality of these plants is very strong, such as those trees and those vines, especially those vines. He always felt that they were moving quietly behind his back, as if they wanted to sneak attack him, but when he deliberately paid attention, the other party didn't move. So leaving this place as soon as possible is the best choice, as long as you don't encounter those disgusting creatures, you won't have any problems. Roy walked through the vegetation. Continuing to intersperse northward, he was extra cautious and cautious along the way, because there are many unknown creatures in this world. Danger is always present on this continent. Moreover, any unknown creature may cause fatal trouble. Just like the original Chimera. At that time, I thought it was just an ant and the one who was more vigilant was just a mutated ant, but it was not that simple. Because this ant almost killed them all by points. Starting from that ant, everyone became afraid of the Dark Continent, because they knew that the creatures on the Dark Continent were not simple. After all, Chimera came from the Dark Continent, and Chimera's strength. That goes without saying. Roy understands that with his current strength, if he meets a creature like a Chimera here, he may not necessarily be an opponent, but he may not necessarily die because escaping is also his best trick. But what he thought in his heart was that it would be better not to meet him. Because all the partners are not there now, and I am the only one who is drawn in by the void because of the space crack. If the partners are all there, the strength is greater if there are more people, and I don't have to worry about anything, but the law in the dark is the relationship between the predator and the prey. The origin of gourmet food, he has not figured out what is going on before, why is this place called the origin of gourmet food? Because here it can be said that the weak and the strong eat, only the strong can survive. I can't understand that the weak are delicacies, and the weak in the eyes of the strong are delicacies that can be enjoyed. Roy knows that if he only relies on the shaking fruit, it is really not easy to survive. It is not an easy task. The ability of the fruit is limited, and the creatures here are very powerful. You still have to improve your own strength first, and at the same time, your ability must also be improved, and you must also find a partner for cooperation. Only in this way can we survive in this place. After all, 
the notebook about the dark continent has already stated clearly that people who travel alone must be strong enough. Being able to sweep the entire dark continent, walking around the dark continent alone will eventually become a delicacy, and it is a rare delicacy. This guy doesn't look like someone from the dark continent. He behaves strangely. He has special abilities. Do we need to inform the higher ups? In the dark. They have been staring at this unknown human for a long time, because ordinary human beings dare not step out of this place easily. Humans in this place in the future will all have conspiracies and plans. And this guy obviously it's like a headless fly. So for this headless fly, the best ending is to make him a delicacy. Don't worry. If we can solve it, we can solve it ourselves. If we can't solve it, we can leave it to the higher ups to solve it. But looking at the posture, this guy has been going north, and he wants to find human civilization quickly. Upon hearing this, one of the creatures was a little excited. After all, this unintentionally says something else. You mean to say that this guy came from the outside world and doesn't belong to the dark continent? If that's the case, then it's really interesting. Roy didn't know how long he had walked north, he was finally tired, now it was time to start hunting, he was going to get a wild boar to eat. Hunting a wild boar as a professional hunter should be no small matter, and the boar meat should be delicious. Roy found a wild boar in a small forest, and the level of this wild boar is not low. Roy didn't startle the snake, but cautiously approached the wild boar, and then immediately used the shaking fruit ability to attack. After punching the wild boar to the ground, Roy couldn't wait to rush over, wanting to see how much blood the wild boar had. Hiss. But something happened that surprised Roy. He had just come into contact with the wild boar, and a strong red light suddenly burst out from the wild boar, followed by the wild boar's body inflated a few times and directly turned into a giant two-meter-tall beast. Roar. After the wild boar roared, it opened its mouth and bit Roy. Roy hurriedly dodged, and the wild boar was much faster than him. It bit off a small tree that was as thick as a bowl, and then turned its head to attack Roy again. Roy didn't dare to fight head-on with him, because this guy was too terrifying, and he didn't know how good his skills were, so he didn't want to fight to the death with him, so he had to choose to avoid it. Roar. The wild boar seemed unwilling to be easily avoided by Roy, so it launched a fierce offensive again. Roy can only continue to evade, while looking for opportunities to attack. However, when Roy avoided the wild boar's fourth round of attack, he found that the wild boar stopped chasing him, but turned around and stared in one direction. This situation made Roy very surprised, and he didn't understand what the wild boar was doing. Then he followed the wild boar's gaze, um? Roy's eyes widened. In the distance, a big snow-white boa constrictor slowly walking in the forest over there. Hiss. The big boa constrictor spit out the letter, and stared at Roy and the wild boar with a pair of scarlet eyes, looking very ferocious and terrifying. Damn it. What's going on? Roy was stunned, completely confused about the situation. Could it be that the wild boar knew this boa constrictor, or did the two have enmity? Roy didn't know the relationship between the wild boar and the boa constrictor, but judging from the boa constrictor's eye-catching look, it definitely wouldn't be a good thing. Hiss. The boa constrictor spit out a scarlet letter, and led a group of younger brothers around him to approach the wild boar. Hiss. The wild boar also made a defensive posture, and its eyes showed anger, even a look of fear, as if it was afraid that the boa constrictor would hurt itself. Roy stood in place watching the show. At this time, he was too lazy to care about the grievances between the wild boar and the boa constrictor. Anyway, the wild boar has been frightened out of its wits, and there is nothing it can do about the boa constrictor 3-0. Sure enough, the boa constrictor took the lead. Its huge body was extremely flexible, and it jumped in front of the wild boar, biting the wild boar fiercely with its sharp teeth. Peefed the wild boar's skin was bitten through by the boa constrictor, and blood shot out instantly. The wild boar wailed in pain, then struggled frantically, trying to get rid of the boa constrictor. Hiss. The boa constrictor seems to like eating meat very much. After tearing off a piece of thick flesh from the wild boar in one bite, it refused to let go and continued to bite hard. Hiss. The boa constrictor seemed to feel that it wasn't enough, and it bit the wild boar's neck in one bite. Ah. The wild boar howled in pain, shaking its head desperately, trying to get rid of the entanglement of the boa constrictor. But the boa constrictor didn't give it any chance to breathe, and bit the wild boar one bite after another. In just a few seconds, the wild boar turned into a bloody corpse. After eating and drinking, the boa constrictor flicked its tail in satisfaction, then crawled away. Hoochie. Hoochie. Roy panted heavily, he didn't expect the boa constrictor to be so powerful. 
he killed the wild boar in one face to face. Moreover, he vaguely remembered that the wild boar should have some companions. Why didn't anyone come to help? Could it be that they did it on purpose? Hiss. While Roy was thinking, he suddenly heard a slight sound coming from the side, and he immediately became vigilant. Who? Roy immediately turned his head to check, only to find a black figure standing beside him. Who are you? Roy was immediately on guard. However, this black shadow ignored Roy, but swam towards the distance without a sound, and disappeared into the dense jungle in the blink of an eye. Strangeness. Roy frowned, then quickly followed. He always felt that there was something wrong with this black shadow, and he couldn't sleep well if he didn't figure it out. Roy ran all the way, and finally found a black shadow on a towering ancient tree. It was a half-orc with three heads six limbs, and a human body. It turned out to be a monster. Roy breathed a sigh of relief, he was really worried that Sombra would be alone, so he would have to work hard to kill him. Roar. After seeing Roy, Sombra roared violently. You are not allowed to go. Roy snorted coldly, then raised his two knives and rushed towards the three-headed monster. Although the speed of the three-headed monster is very fast, it is far behind Roy who has the skill of stealth. Roy jumped to the top of the three-headed monster in a few steps, and then swung his two knives and slashed at it. Hiss. Seeing this, the three-headed monster was in a hurry. It stretched out its claws to grab Roy, but Roy was faster and jumped down almost as soon as it stretched out its claws. The three-headed monster's claws missed, and only caught the afterimage left by Roy. It couldn't help being furious. Its other two heads sprayed out poison and flames, and swept towards Roy. Hiss. Roy had been prepared for a long time, and hurriedly dodged sideways, and then took the opportunity to jump off the head of the three-headed monster, stepped on the three-headed monster with both feet, and then swung his two knives to cut off one of the three-headed monster's arms. Hiss. The severe pain made the three-headed monster even more irritable, and the other two arms swept towards Roy without hesitation. Roy had expected it and dodged immediately. But the two arms of the three-headed monster seemed to be intelligent, they circled in front of Roy, and then slammed on Roy. Boom. Roy was sent flying, hit a nearby tree, and fell to the ground. Well, Roy snorted, he felt that his whole body was falling apart, especially his back, it was as painful as if it was about to split, and the bones made a crackling sound, Shen Ran is. So strong. Is this the strength of the wild boar king? Enduring the severe pain, Roy barely looked up at the three-headed monster in the distance. I saw the three-headed monster staring at him angrily, and his three legs were still shaking, obviously seriously injured. Luo dare not underestimate. He continued to attack with the shaking fruit ability. Boom. A huge ripple emerged from Roy's body, spread out, and covered the three-headed monster. The power of the shock wave is too strong. Even if the three-headed monster made a timely dodging movement, it was still swept by the shock wave. The three-headed monster screamed and staggered back. Hiss. The three-headed monster roared and charged at Roy. Seeing this, Roy quickly retreated, and then used stealth skills. Roy disappeared within the sight of the three-headed monster. The speed of the three-headed monster was too fast, and Roy knew that he was definitely not its opponent. Therefore, Roy intends to avoid the edge for the time being. Wait until his mental strength improves, and then come back to seek revenge on it. However, Roy had just moved a short distance when a huge fist hit him. Roy quickly dodged sideways. Snapped. Roy had just finished dodging when he saw a short guy suddenly appearing and pinching Roy's throat. Hiss. The three-headed monster stared at Roy angrily. This guy is actually so powerful. Roy was shocked. He never expected that this short guy was about as strong as him, probably a level 50 wild devil. This is bad. Roy quickly used all the abilities of the shaking fruit, and activated the effect of defense barrier, blocking it on his chest. Boom. The three-headed monster punched Roy in the chest. Roy just felt like his internal organs were about to explode. Not only that, the shockwave was also released from the chest, pushing the three-headed monster away for a certain distance. What a strong force. Roy spit out a mouthful of bloody saliva, secretly thankful. If it weren't for his relatively high physical fitness, I'm afraid the three-headed monster could kill himself with one punch. Of course, this fight made Roy understand that there is still a big gap between his strength and the three-headed monster. Hiss. The three-headed monster was so angry that it pounced on Roy again. This time, its speed was faster than before, and during the pounce, its two palms suddenly opened and turned into two sharp blades. Seeing this, 
Roy backed away immediately, he was not willing to resist the opponent's sharp claws. The three-headed monster missed a hit, but did not stop attacking and continued to chase and kill Roy. Shish. Every time the three-headed monster attacks, there is a sharp sound of wind, and its sharp claws are also extraordinarily sharp, as if it can cut through the void. Roy relied on his agility and superior bodywork to make left and right clumsiness. The three-headed monster kept launching a fierce offensive. Roy didn't dare to have the slightest hesitation, and directly and completely awakened the ability of the Junjun -jun fruit. Now he has the ability to cause tsunamis, earthquakes, and even small-scale movements of the Earth's crust. No matter what kind of ability it is, the damage to the enemy is very strong. Moreover, in addition to tsunamis and earthquakes, Roy can also guide the surrounding water flow to form a tornado, swallowing each other. However, these abilities consume a lot of mental power, so they must be used with caution, otherwise, the mental power consumption will be too great, even he can't bear it. Moreover, after Roy awakened the ability of the shaking fruit, he didn't know if it was an illusion. He felt that he seemed to have an inexplicable response to the changes in the surrounding environment, as if he could control the water flow around him. Call. The three-headed monster rushed towards Roy again, and this time the three-headed monster attacked from three different angles. Whoosh. At the moment when the three-headed monster approached, Roy suddenly activated, concealed fruit, and his whole body was instantly hidden in the shade of the tree, and the main monster immediately lost Roy's position. However, the three-headed monster didn't panic, and instead let out a low and sharp roar, hiss, hiss. It seems to be calling for something, Shua. Suddenly, a blue light appeared, and then, a thick tail appeared out of nowhere, sweeping towards Roy. So fast. Roy's complexion changed drastically, and he immediately used the shaking fruit ability, causing the ground to crack. Then, taking advantage of the chaos created by the earthquake, he fled in the other direction. Hiss. The three-headed monster roared angrily, and then chased after Roy. Roy panted as he ran. He is very tired now, although the ability to use the shaking fruit can replenish his physical strength, but the mental exhaustion is too serious, so Roy needs to take a rest. What should I do? My strength is not enough to fight against the three-headed monster. Roy smiled helplessly. The three-headed monster is powerful, and he can't get away easily, but Roy is unwilling to leave like this, so he can only grit his teeth and persist. Suddenly, Roy noticed that the target of the three-headed monster was not him, but the tree beside him. Roy narrowed his eyes slightly. So that's it. Does the three-headed monster like to eat trees? If so, then I can use this trick to deal with it. A sneer formed on the corner of Roy's mouth, and then he switched targets. Shushasha. The three heads of the three-headed monster frantically gnawed at the tree trunk, pieces of bark fell off, and knots of branches fell off. Roy was furious, and then he used the shock wave to attack the past. The shock wave hit the three-headed monster, but it only caused it to shake for a while, and it couldn't cause fatal damage at all. Hiss. The three-headed monster let out an angry roar, and then rushed towards Roy. Snort. Roy made seals with both hands, and then shouted, rock piercing. Crack. The ground in front of Roy suddenly cracked, pieces of broken stones emerged from the ground, and then these broken stones quickly condensed into hundreds of tiny stones, flying towards the three-headed monster. Hiss. The three-headed monster hissed angrily and waved its long white tail violently. Bang bang bang. The rubble was swept to the ground by the three-headed monster. Sure enough, I guessed right, you are afraid of acidic liquids. As Roy said, he reached into his arms and took out a bottle of poison. Sizzling. Seeing the medicine in Roy's hand, the three-headed monster's expression became extremely ferocious. It roared angrily, and then rushed towards Roy desperately. Roy sneered, and uncorked the bottle. Grunt, grunt, grunt. As Roy took a few sips, he was shocked. Boom. There was a sudden thunder in the sky. When the three-headed monster heard the sound, it couldn't help being stunned for a moment. Immediately, it twisted and struggled, trying to dodge. Unfortunately, Roy already knew what it would do. Because this devil fruit has been mutated and awakened, it can be mutated and awakened from the beginning with the assistance of the system, and he has not started to mutate it and awakened until today. The three-headed monster also seemed to realize Roy's strength and did not choose to continue fighting, but turned around and ran away. Roy also didn't choose to chase after him. It was just a bluff. It has to be said that he is very powerful. This place is worthy of the Dark Continent. Even such a monster has such strong strength, which is absolutely unexpected. It will be dark soon, and we must find a good place to rest. 
If you want to live in the jungle, you must have a good place to live, but now he came to this place too abruptly. So it is necessary to choose a reliable location to rest, because there are more beasts at night, and it is also the most turbulent time at night. Roy searched for a long time and finally found a towering tree. This tree can be said to be extremely huge, it's not impossible to sleep on the tree trunk for one night, but there are too many birds and beasts here, and most of the birds and beasts have self-awareness. It has to be guarded against. Roy reached the top of the tree in a few vertical jumps. Standing on the tree stump, he saw that far, far away, there was actually a campfire, our lights to be precise. It seems that there is nothing wrong with going north, because when he looked in the direction of the north, there were indeed lights in a place far, far away, indicating that there were people living there. This is good news for him. As long as he continues to walk north tomorrow, he will definitely be able to find someone. As long as he can find someone, then it is definitely not a bad thing. After all, he is very clear about the current situation and must live now. Then find human civilization. Human civilization is the most important thing, because only after finding human civilization can he have a plan for what to do next. After all, the creatures on this continent are too powerful. If any creature appears, you can fight back and forth with him. This is simply terrifying. If the partners are here, it will not be so troublesome, and there is no need to worry too much about many things. Roy took a closer look at the surrounding area within tens of meters. There were no other creatures, so he stayed on the tree with confidence. It is not easy to stay in the tree, because it is relatively hidden when it is discovered, and this tree is quite big, it is basically at the top of the tree, because there is a tree hole at the top of the tree. Then he used his fist to smash the hole deeply, so that he could live in the tree. Although the environment is not very good, at least it is good to be alive. Then arrive at this continent as soon as possible tomorrow, where things are controlled by humans, things will be much easier. Just don't run into a chimera-like creature along the way. After all, chimeras are really disgusting, as an ant, but also an archer chimeric ant. It can be said to be very powerful. Roy thought about how long he would have to go tomorrow, and then fell asleep without knowing what to do after reaching human civilization. But he didn't notice the scent of the ice cream he hadn't finished eating yet. It has already attracted all these birds and beasts that come out to look for food at night. This scent, these birds and beasts have never smelled before, and now it suddenly appears to them. It was also like a bumpkin going to town. Soon many creatures locked their positions on the tallest tree, and that thing should also be at the top of the tree. Roy was a light sleeper because the place he was in was not very safe. Soon he heard a loud noise. He woke up in an instant, the sound came from under him, and when he looked down, he found that there were many creatures gathered under the big tree. Some can fly, some run on the ground, and the most weird thing is that they are still fighting with each other, as if they are fighting for something. The bottom is like a group fight, making a mess, and the top of him looks abnormally lonely, and he is alone. He wanted to go down and join in the fun. Roy turned his head and thought about it, but he still gave up the idea. After all, the ghost knows what powerful existence is down there. So I can only sit on the mountain and watch the tigers fight, let them fight for both sides, and then go down to pick up the bargain, isn't this a beautiful thing? And just to see how powerful and perverted these creatures are, after all, the existence of these creatures is much stronger than the ones in my own place. So no matter what, you have to figure out their comprehensive strength first, after all, you suffered a lot when you first came here today. Roy originally planned to wait for them to be happy and wait for them to lose both sides, but he didn't expect a bad wind to blow behind him. Roy turned around sharply and found a creature that looked like an eagle, but not like an owl, and even more like a bird, flying towards him very fast. Without the slightest hesitation, he directly punched out with the power of the shaking fruit, even the space was shaken by him. The creature froze in the air, its flapping wings stopped, and it lost its ability to respond in an instant. It fell straight to the ground, having lost self-awareness. In the next second, he was caught by a bear-like creature and ran away. It seemed that it should be food. Roy sighed. This is purely self-inflicted. But. This also made him see that the competition in this jungle is fierce, and anyone who is not careful may be eaten and become the delicacy of those hunters. He can see through this point, and it seems that he needs to be more vigilant, otherwise what will happen, that is something he can't hate after that, it is not so easy to make changes. And the battle below gradually became calmer. It seems that after a fierce battle, many people have been eliminated. Of course, this is not the point, the most important point is. The survival of the fittest in nature is also applicable in the dark continent, especially in the competition among savage creatures. 
But after playing for most of the night, there is still no way to figure it out, because there are always a lot of players coming to participate, and a new group of players will come after a group of games. Unexpected. Roy doesn't care, for him, he just needs to sit here and enjoy the fisherman's profit, and wait for when they finish beating him and when they go down to collect the spoils. The more Roy thought about it, the more God didn't want him to succeed. Soon, as their fierce struggle escalated to the surrounding trees, even this big tree was injured and it was about to break. Roy had to find another place. After all, when these guys fight, it can be said to be a life and death struggle. If he wants to reap the benefits of being a fisherman, he must gamble well and not be discovered. This is the most basic and most deadly point. The goal of these guys seems to be not only to determine the outcome, but more of their goals seem to be directed at themselves. Because these guys clearly discovered their own existence, but they didn't think about pulling themselves into this dispute at all. It was more like they had become the spoils of their victory. Thinking about it this way, Roy only felt horrified. If this is the case, it is really terrible, and the more deadly point is that if the winner is not a single one but a group, then will be even more troublesome. Because it's more like a gang war down here now. If this is the case, then it will be really uncomfortable, and at the same time, there is a possibility that he will pay a price. If this is the case, then there is no need to continue this battle. He also had to get out of this ghost place as soon as possible. Although I don't know why they pointed their targets at themselves, but one thing is certain, because they are human beings. After all, this is a barbaric place, and it is normal to meet these guys in a barbaric place, because they will not tolerate the existence of a human being. But I became the reward after their victory, which was unexpected and unexpected. But whatever. I will definitely not let their tricks succeed, if I let their tricks succeed, then my own consequences will be obvious, not to mention the strength of these guys is too high. Roy turned around and left, he was going north now, he wanted to reach the inhabited place as soon as possible, the inhabited place must be safer, after all, these guys are too barbaric. It definitely doesn't make sense to reason with them, and there is one more important thing, that is, someone is following him, to be precise, it should be watching him. Real body. They didn't make a move, which was what Roy was most worried about. If they did, there would be nothing to say, but they didn't choose to make a move. So they are not sure what conspiracy is brewing, so what to do at this time is to stay away from this place as much as possible, stay away from this right and wrong intelligence, this is the best choice, there is no one. The fighting in the woods was raging, and he just wanted to escape now, so he quickly shuttled out of the woods, but this had no practical effect, because it couldn't get out at the edge of the woods, and some kind of enchantment blocked the whole woods, archive. This made Roy feel a little depressed. What's the situation? He used the fruit to punch three punches to break the barrier, but it didn't seem to have any effect. It's so weird, they actually get knots when they fight, it shouldn't be, it's hard to say. Roy realized in an instant, all of this is very likely to be the group of people monitoring him, only he has the skills and ideas to do it, but what are they going to do? That's the point. Roy instantly became very vigilant, because he knew that the situation was getting more and more complicated, and it was getting more and more wrong. The existence of creatures in the Dark Continent has a reason for their existence, and their strength is not weak. Especially those who are monitoring themselves behind their backs are probably even more difficult. Since you are here, please stay, after all, I like your body very much. When Roy Xinjiangjun was wondering what was going on, a voice suddenly sounded behind him, and a creature came out from the darkness, and this creature surprised him even more. Plant weapon gold and silver ingots. The body of this thing is no different from that of a human being, but what is different from a human being is that his head is actually a sphere. Humans, I think your brain is very fragrant. Don't leave and donate your brain to me. I already like eating brains very much. Seeing the gold and silver ingot staggering towards him, Roy was dumbfounded. Roy is well aware of the power of gold and silver ingots, which can control vegetation at will to attack. And this thing is very powerful with toxins. Humans donate your brains to me. The gold and silver ingots launched an attack, only to see countless tombs on the ground emerge from the ground with a wave of the gold and silver ingots' hands. Roy blasted the green vines into pieces with one punch from his shaking fruit ability. The gold and silver ingots attacked again. Countless vines rushed towards Roy frantically. Roy dodged the attack of these vines in a flash. But he didn't notice that the tree roots under his feet had moved quietly. All of a sudden Roy felt his whole body fall down from the void under his feet. Roy flipped hastily in midair trying to grab something to stabilize his body. Just then Roy saw a rock being thrown towards him. 
Roy quickly raised his hand to block the stone and sent it flying. Roy just breathed a sigh of relief, but felt a sharp pain in his back. He looked down at his chest, and found that there were actually two sharp thorns piercing through his clothes and piercing into his flesh and blood. Roy reached out and pulled out the two sharp thorns. It was found that these two sharp thorns were covered with barbs. He shook off the blood that flowed from the wound. He felt that what he suffered was not a simple injury. Roy felt that the vitality in his body was draining rapidly. Roy gritted his teeth and endured the severe pain from the wound and the weakness of blood loss. Roy looked around and realized that he was still in the forest. And he found that he seemed to be standing in front of a small pool. Roy wondered, why did he appear in such a place? Could it be that this is an illusion made of gold and silver ingots? Roy took a few steps tentatively, but he stopped immediately. Because he found that the surrounding scene has changed. The originally lush trees became bare and withered at this time. Roy turned his head and found that his location had also changed. It was no longer a bush, but a small pool. Roy was amazed at the magic of everything in front of him. He remembered that he was clearly standing in the forest, why suddenly ran to a lake again. Could it be that this is actually another dreamland of gold and silver ingots? Roy tried to call the system, but the system remained silent. Roy sighed, planning to leave here. Although he has a strong interest in gold and silver ingots, Roy clearly knows that he should not stay here again. Dreams made of gold and silver ingots must have their own unique rules. He has to play by the rules, but just when he was about to leave, he suddenly found something in the middle of the lake. Roy took a closer look, and it turned out to be a person lying in the middle of the lake. This person was naked, his skin was flushed, he looked like he was drunk, and his cheeks were flushed. Roy squatted down to check the person's condition, and found that the person's breathing of was weak and intermittent. Roy frowned, this man was obviously poisoned. Roy checked the man's condition and found that the man had wounds on his thighs, waist and abdomen. If Roy's guess is correct, the man must have been wounded in the battle and ended up in the middle of the lake. Roy carried the man to the shore and cut the man's tube with a dagger. Roy gasped when he saw the hideous wound on the man's thigh. There were at least wounds on this man's body, and each knife was fatal. Each knife directly penetrated the right arm from the right thigh, and it was also poisonous. If it were an ordinary person, I'm afraid he would have died long ago. Roy took a closer look and found that his inner thigh had been slashed with a sharp weapon, and there was a hole at the base of his thigh. The hole had been dug through by a sharp knife, and it appeared that the man had suffered serious gunshot wounds. Roy tore off a piece of fabric from his sleeve and tied it around the man's wound to stop the bleeding and prevent the wound from getting worse. In this case, this person should be able to be revived when the sun rises. Roy stood up, he wanted to find a safe place to rest. But he found that there were many bugs in the bushes nearby. These bugs are black and there are so many of them, Roy will be attacked if he gets close. Roy didn't want to get entangled with these bugs, so he walked around them and prepared to stay away from here first. But Roy didn't notice that shortly after he left, a white spider crawled out of the middle of the group. The white spider lay on the ground watching Roy's leaving back, with a strange smile on the corner of his mouth, and followed. The white spider climbed onto the branch of a huge old tree, where it lay quietly. At this time, Roy was less than 10 meters away from this huge ancient tree. Just when Roy was about to cross the ancient tree, Roy sensed the danger, and suddenly turned his head to look at. I saw a giant white spider lying on the branch of an old tree and staring at Roy. This spider is more than 10 times larger than ordinary white spiders, and its eight limbs are distributed around the body in a conical shape. There are two tentacles on the top of the spider's head, and there are densely packed small mouths at the end of the tentacles. Its mouth is very sharp, with a cold light shining. The spider's eight legs are covered with barbs and spikes. Once hooked by these spikes, it will definitely end in a thousand arrows. Watching Roy turn his head to look over, the spider opened its mouth wide and hissed. Roy looked at the spider and rushed over without any hesitation. The spider's eight legs swung quickly to avoid Roy's attack. Roy insists on using the ability of the shaking fruit. The spider's limbs slide on the ground at an extremely fast speed. Roy was a little taken aback at the speed of the spider. He didn't expect the speed of the spider to reach this level. Roy didn't dare to neglect, and used the ability of shaking fruit continuously. But the spider is not afraid at all, it is obviously a useless attack, and the opponent is not afraid. Roy slashed at the spider's body with a sword, but a blue electric arc appeared on the surface of the spider's body. 
Roy froze for a moment, his sword couldn't penetrate the spider's body. Roy frowned and retracted his sword. The spider took the opportunity to launch a counterattack. The spider's eight legs kicked Roy hard. Roy put his hands on his knees and bent his legs to avoid the spider's attack. Roy's body twirled in the air, and then jumped up suddenly. Seeing this, the spider immediately gave up attacking Roy and instead pinched Roy with its eight legs. Roy snorted coldly, and kicked his legs on the spider's body suddenly. The spider's body immediately retreated, and Roy's body accelerated with the help of inertia, and then hit the spider. The spider's eight legs crossed in front of Roy's attack. Boom. The spider's huge body was knocked into the air by Roy, and then fell to the ground. Roy took advantage of the victory to pursue, he rushed forward and cut off the spider's hamstring with his sword, completely paralyzing the spider. After finishing the spider, Roy sat on the ground panting. But he suddenly discovered a problem, that is, the space seemed to be distorted. To be precise, he should be in an illusion or a dream. Plant weapons. Gold and silver ingots, he sat up. In other words, he didn't walk out of the illusion at all, and was still in the illusion. After all, plant weapons are not just for nothing. They are not only powerful, but also have great abilities, especially in some special abilities. Then I have to say, he had to find a way to get out of the illusion, because he didn't want to have his brain eaten, because plant weapons like to eat human brains the most, and they have a special interest in human brains. So it is a very troublesome danger for him. If this trouble cannot be solved, it will continue forever. Humans are really humble, timid and cowardly, but your greed is the most deadly, but it doesn't matter, let me draw a symmetrical symbol for you. Roy woke up instantly when he heard this disgusting voice that made his scalp tingle. For him, the other party was really disgusting. Disgusting people are just one aspect, but they are more frightening. At this moment, he was tied up tightly by green vines, and he was tightly entangled. Obviously, this guy didn't want to miss such a beautiful delicacy. Gold and silver ingots were not in a hurry to be his brain. Although he didn't know what this guy was doing, he had to get out of the current predicament first. If he couldn't get out of the current predicament, then because of him, he would have to die. And it's not just as simple as a dead end. Instead, he will eat his brain alive, and if his brain is eaten, he will have nothing, and the whole person will become a walking dead, and his body may be used by him. It was a sensation. Roy didn't hesitate. His devil fruit ability has been fully awakened, and not only fully awakened, but also a mutant awakened, which means that his devil fruit ability is very powerful. He doesn't want to be eaten by these guys, and this thing is not an authentic plant weapon. If it is an authentic plant weapon, it should not use this low-level illusion phenomenon. Gold and silver ingots are also said to be divided into different types. Back then, when the civilized army of human beings encircled and suppressed him, he was damaged a lot, and most of his brains were eaten. It can be said to be very scary, because this guy just likes to eat brains and is not interested in other things. The strong impact and high-frequency buoyancy can completely shatter a carbon-based organism, but it has no practical effect on plant weapons. Because the loading capacity of this thing is too strong, there is no way to completely destroy it. The special ability of the plant weapon gold and silver ingot is that he can manipulate vegetation as a weapon to attack. Roy sighed, and he decided to use all the power of the trembling fruit to fight the gold and silver ingots. Gold and silver ingots, your opponent is me, Roy shouted. Gold and silver ingots jumped up from the ground, and two phantoms of gold and silver ingots appeared beside him, they surrounded Roy and launched countless tiny vines. Roy crossed his arms over his head and chest as the vines wrapped around him and pierced him. Ah ha ha ha. Painful? This is just the beginning, I will make you more uncomfortable. Jin Yinyan said with a manic smile. Roy's face turned pale. The ability of gold and silver ingots is indeed powerful, but he has the seed of resurrection. Death did not take away his life. On the contrary, he returned to his prime physique. Seeing that Roy was fine, Jin Yinying suddenly became angry, go to hell, bastard. The vines grew wildly, and Roy felt severe pain all over his body. The vines of gold and silver ingots not only restricted Roy's movement, but also imprisoned Roy's thinking. Roy knew that the best way to break the vines was to cut off all the vines. However, Roy is not sure that he can do it, because his shaking fruit ability is only enough to shatter the vines, but not to cut them off. If it was someone else, I'm afraid they would have lost long ago, but who is Roy, he is a genius boy, how could he lose? Shocking fruit shocking wave, Roy concentrated the energy of the shaking fruit on his legs, and he suddenly let out a loud cry. Boom! The ground exploded, 
countless vines were scattered, and Roy broke free. It's time to end, gold and silver ingots, Roy snorted coldly. Roy rushed towards the gold and silver ingots with lightning speed. Gold and silver ingot was taken aback, but his reaction was extremely fast and he immediately converted his ability. Whoosh whoosh one huge metal stick after another flew towards Roy, and slammed into his body hard. Roy flew upside down and fell to the ground, his clothes were stained red with blood. Ha ha ha. How stupid, you dare to fight me in close quarters, really thinking that my attack will be as harmless as a vine? Jinyanding said with a grin. Roy looked up at the gold and silver ingots, a smile formed on the corner of his mouth. You. Why didn't you die? Jin Yinyan was taken aback, he had obviously hit the opponent just now. Hee <laughs> hee. Your level of attack is worthy of hurting me. You're so naive. Roy sneered, and then rushed forward again. Roy's body suddenly disappeared, gold and silver ingot quickly raised the metal stick in his hand, and looked around vigilantly. Look no further, I'm here. Roy's voice resounded throughout the space. Immediately afterwards, the gold and silver ingots saw a punch and slammed down. Bang the ground was cracked, and the gold and silver ingots were thrown flying more than 10 meters away, and after falling on the ground, they spit out a few mouthfuls of blood. Gold and silver ingot struggled to get up, wiped off the blood overflowing from the corner of his mouth, and stared at Roy viciously. Damn guy, you actually lied to me? So what if I lied to you? Roy said mercilessly. His ability is, stealth. He can hide his figure, and the gold and silver ingots can't detect his existence. The gold and silver ingots were furious, and rushed towards Roy again. Boom the gold and silver ingots were blown out again, his body hit the wall, and he passed out directly. Roy walked up to him, knelt down and patted his cheek. Hey! Wake up! Roy shook the shoulder of the gold and silver ingot. Gold and silver ingot slowly opened his eyes, he looked at Roy, and asked viciously, what do you want to do? I want to tell you something. Roy grinned and said, I just used all the power of the Junjun fruit to destroy your body. What? Gold and silver ingots turned pale in shock, but he had a fluke mentality in his heart, thinking that Roy must be defrauding him and deliberately scaring him. Don't believe it. Try it if you don't believe it. Roy said with a smile. He stretched out his right index finger and pressed it on the chest of the gold and silver ingot, and then pressed down hard. In the next second, a bang was heard, and the body was instantly shattered into pieces, and the most terrifying thing was that a big player appeared on the ground. This is the ability of the devil fruit, especially the fully awakened devil fruit after being blessed by the system, the ability used is even more extraordinary. However, it is precisely because the enemy is too weak that this special ability can be used, because this special ability needs to gather strength. If he is not given a chance to gather strength, then he may not be able to win, but it will be different if he is given a chance, and the current situation looks very good, because this is a fake. The plant weapon gold and silver ingot itself is a very powerful creature. The power of this creature comes from the strength of his body, and it also comes from the fact that he ate countless human brains. For him, those human brains can make him infinitely stronger and make him a very terrifying existence. This is very terrifying, and this is why plant weapons scare human beings. Of course, this is not a big deal, after all, the existence of plant bodies has largely eliminated many harmful animals. But the plant weapons also ate a lot of humans at the same time. It's not normal why there are so many fakes in this place. Roy sighed. If this is a real plant weapon, then it is really interesting, because it means that plant weapons can destroy everything. And I will never be an opponent, this is beyond doubt, so the current situation is still troublesome and very tricky. After dealing with this trouble, he decided to continue to go north, because he had to get out of this place quickly, and the sky was beginning to come. At this time, being alive is more important than anything else, you have to find your own civilization first, and at the same time find a way to get your partners over. Of course, the partners may not come, but it is not important, the important thing is to survive from this place, after all, this place is a world of weak and strong and it is not an easy task to survive. And judging from the current situation, the Dark Continent is indeed quite special, and it is not just that simple, you have other places, which they have discovered. In short, there are many secrets in this place, and there are many problems that need to be solved. Step by step to discover, this time cannot be too hasty. I don't know how long I walked north, it was already noon, and he was already very tired, Roy just wanted to find a place to take a good rest. Although he knew that if he stopped, he would be watched by others, but he really had no way to go on. 
Roy was not idle while resting, because for him he had to become stronger, if not stronger. Then he can't do whatever he wants on the Dark Continent. The continent brings him nothing but danger, but at present there are no opportunities to speak of. If there are opportunities, that would be a good thing. Roy's Devil Fruit Vibration Fruit has the ability to move the Earth's crust, control the land, and control the vibration frequency of the air. Although these abilities are good, they are very difficult to control in actual combat. Basically, if you pick a creature randomly on the Dark Continent, their abilities are terrifying. So just to be on the safe side, Roy decided to take the Whitebeard panel a step further. First of all, strength, speed, and physicality must be improved again. After all, his strongest attack method now is, Devil's Roar. But the Devil's Roar is only a simple sound wave damage, and every time it is activated, it will consume a lot of energy, which is completely unfavorable for continuous combat and playing games. The second is agility. If you look at it according to the current situation, your speed is relatively slow, it is difficult when the enemy uses teleportation, supersonic bats or other abilities to catch up. As for defense, that level of attack can't cause much damage at all, unless it is directly killed in seconds like those soldiers in the Whitebeard Pirates. Of course, this problem has not been solved, because what Roy wants to do is definitely beyond the reach of ordinary soldiers. The last is technique. How can we maximize the power of Devil's Roar, and at the same time effectively prevent the opponent from dodging? These three points are what Roy must think clearly. After careful consideration, Roy chose the path of skills, after all, he now needs to learn too much. Relying on Devil's Roar alone is far from keeping up with his own rhythm. That being the case, it is better to change a new path and learn some other abilities so as to improve yourself. The first is skill, how to master this ability combined with the ability of shaking fruit, to exert the greatest effect. After carefully recalling Whitebeard's skills and experiences in his mind, and confirming that he had memorized them, Roy began to try to learn. Whitebeard's technique is to continuously increase his strength through his own exercise, and then transform his strength into an explosive impact. This creates two diametrically opposed forces. The first type is mainly based on explosive power, but requires balance, while the other type pays more attention to speed and flexibility, but lacks explosive power. The combination of two diametrically opposite techniques produces a strange energy that can easily tear apart targets, even steel can be easily destroyed, so Roy called it, destruction. Before Whitebeard died, Roy had seen Whitebeard destroy a town with, destruction. However, since Whitebeard's ability to destroy disappeared after his death, his skills were not inherited. If Roy wants to master, destruction, he must learn how to control this ability and if he only relies on consciousness, he will never be able to master the skill of, destruction. Well, let's get far. Strength is very important to him, because he needs a strong enough five. In short, now Roy already knows how to control, destruction, and also knows a way to make, destruction, stronger. Roy feels that strength has a lot to do with heart. As long as the heart is strong enough, then it is an invincible existence. After all, a person's strength comes from the strength of the heart, only when the strength of the heart is strong enough and unswerving can one become more powerful. This is inevitable, definitely. People always have to have many choices, and these choices must have something to do with their own hearts, but no matter how they choose, they will remain the same. Roy walked north all the way again. He didn't know how long he had been walking. It was already dark. He thought it was hopeless to contact human civilization tonight, but he found that there was a light ahead, which was a good thing for him. It meant that there must be humans ahead, so he quickened his pace and waited for him to arrive. He saw a lot of lights, and he summoned Somersault Cloud directly. He had summoned Chingdo Cloud before, but because of the enchantment in that forest. The Somersault Cloud can't be summoned at all, which is a very terrible thing. But there is no limit in this place, it can summon Somersault Cloud, he reached this small village with a Somersault Cloud, but after he entered the small village, he found a problem. That is, there is no one in this village, and the lights of every house are lit, but the people in the village disappear without a trace. It disappeared completely, and there was no trace of reaching around, and there were delicious meals on the table, which was a bit weird. What is the situation? Where are the villagers? Logically, the villagers should be there. After all, these meals are still warm. Luo Yi suddenly heard voices in the next room, and he hurried over, but after he passed, he found no one. This made him extremely puzzled. What is the situation? There is obviously someone there, but after he rushed over, the person disappeared. Things seemed to be a little less simple. Roy inspected every house carefully, 
but there was still no new discovery, no trace of building, but the villagers disappeared without a trace. That's weird, it's just outrageous. Roy once again summoned somersaulting clouds to rise into the air, and he wanted to look down from the air, which had a wider field of vision. This time he really discovered something. It turned out that the village was shrouded in thick black fog, but he could see it clearly. What is the situation? The thick black fog doesn't seem to conflict with his vision, which is outrageous, completely unreasonable, and completely violates normal laws. Roy takes a deep breath, it's not a good thing, but it doesn't mean there's trouble, because he's kinda hungry now. He wants to eat those meals very much now, but he is afraid that someone will poison them. After all, this is the dark continent, and it is the best choice to be careful, otherwise you may die without a whole body. After all, when he first came to this continent, he encountered various attacks, which has been confirmed. Everything here is weird, but weird at the same time. It is particularly harmonious and peaceful here, at least it is much safer than in the jungle, because life and death struggles may be experienced in the jungle at any time. Here he can't feel any breath of death, and can't feel any breath of fear. This is very good, at least he can be safe. Suddenly he felt a strong killing intent behind him. When I turned around, I found a black shadow, which flashed past. The speed of the opponent is very fast, and there is also a lot of energy. This kind of energy should not be underestimated. He should not be careless in the slightest. Using the ability of somersault cloud to fly to a higher place, the opponent may not be able to reach such a high place. But he would be wrong if he thought so. Roy originally thought that the other party hadn't followed, but he made a fatal mistake. That means he underestimated others. No matter which creatures on the Dark Continent, their strength cannot be tolerated by Xiao Chao, because they are almost invincible existences, and they can be said to be very terrifying existences. If you were with Xiao Chao and the others, it means that you are not far from death, because it is really scary and difficult to fight, and its ability is also very special, which is not something ordinary people can deal with. No, this guy disappeared, it seems to be on top of my head. By the time Roy reacted, it was already too late. Since the opponent directly attacked from the head, the speed was very fast. The speed of the shot is very fast, and the strength is very strong. It seems that if he does not die, the opponent will definitely not give up easily. What's more, the opponent's speed is so fast that he can't keep up, which is very scary. Roy uses the ability of the shaking fruit to attack the opponent. But the other party is not vegetarian. The speed of that black shadow was very fast, the two people hit from the sky to the ground, and then from the ground to the air. During this period, Roy was cut several times by Sombra's blade, and he even saw the blood vessels on Sombra's arm clearly visible. Roy did not give up and continued to attack. However, at this moment, Roy felt a stabbing pain in his chest. He looked down and saw that a dagger had been inserted into his body, and pierced deeply into his heart. Why? Roy raised his head and looked at the other party in disbelief, but found that the other party's face was ferocious, and his eyes were staring at him fiercely. Roy knew he was screwed. You. Dot why did you kill me? Roy struggled to get the last words out. There was an evil smile on the corner of the man's mouth, because you have to die. As the words fell, the man drew out his dagger. Blood flowed down Roy's chest, and Roy fell to the ground with difficulty. The man sneered, and was about to leave, but suddenly heard the whistling wind from behind, followed by a strong force. He turned around abruptly, and saw Roy who had been lying on the ground just now stood up again. Roy's eyes were full of anger and hatred. Since you want me to die, then go and bury me with you. Damn it. The man cursed angrily, and quickly dodged to the side, but Roy took the opportunity to wave his hands and threw two balls of snow light onto the opponent's body. The two groups of lightning burst out instantly. Boom. Boom. The power of the thunder and lightning was astonishing. It directly shattered all the clothes and skin of that person, and his whole body turned into coke. Roy gasped for a while, finally recovering. He looked at the coke on the ground, walked unsteadily to pick it up, and wiped off the black ash on the surface. I'm so sorry. A hand suddenly emerged from the coke, grabbed Roy's ankle, and pulled it forward forcefully. Roy was caught off guard and fell to the ground. He immediately turned over and got up, and then stretched out his left hand to hold the scorched corpse's head, preventing it from moving. But when Roy raised his right leg, he felt a sharp pain in his lower abdomen, as if something had penetrated into his stomach, and Roy couldn't help screaming. The scorched corpse seized the opportunity and punched Roy in the stomach. Roy flew out and broke several trees, and finally fell down in the muddy grass. All this happened in just a few seconds. 
When Roy came back to his senses, the charred corpse had already rushed over. Roy quickly dodged sideways, and kicked the charred corpse's shoulder with his other leg. Although the Jauhu is relatively strong, Roy is a man after all, and he is a man with the ability to shake the fruit, so this kick still made Jauhu take a step back. Ha ha ha, asterisk. The scorched corpse seemed to be irritated, and after a few wild laughs, it rushed towards Roy. Roy gritted his teeth and insisted on resisting, but obviously he was not the enemy's opponent. After only a few moves, he was suppressed by the enemy. Then the man raised his fist and beat Roy's abdomen heavily, arching Roy's figure, and then put his knee on Roy's neck. Click. Roy had a broken neck and passed out, and then the charred body dragged him away from the place. When Roy woke up, he found himself in a room. The furnishings in this room are simple and clear, a bed, a set of tables and chairs, and a portrait hanging on the wall, which depicts a woman with a beautiful and coquettish appearance. Roy struggled to sit up, but found that he couldn't lift any strength. Looks like I'm temporarily incapacitated, Roy murmured. He looked around and found that there was no one else in the room except him. Roy tried to move his body and check his condition. However, during this examination, Roy found that his condition was extremely bad. His muscles, bones, and internal organs suffered huge damage, especially the internal organs were seriously damaged. If you were an ordinary person, you should have died long ago. And Roy is still alive, completely dependent on his shaking fruit ability. I didn't expect this kind of fruit to be so powerful. Roy smiled bitterly, then closed his eyes and began to restore his body. Roy's physical fitness far exceeds that of ordinary people, so even if he was seriously injured, he recovered quickly with the help of the Junjun fruit ability. After Roy moved his body and made sure he was fine, he began to think about the next plan. He remembered that after the scorched corpse attacked him, it left a mark on that person, so Roy speculated that the person was a member of a certain organization. And this organization is probably still an extremely powerful organization. This organization has sent such a powerful killer, which is enough to prove how much they value themselves. But Roy was a little puzzled. It stands to reason that he is just an ordinary passerby. Why do they value him so much? Maybe, I can start investigating from the identity of this organization. Roy pondered for a moment, and then decided to find out about this matter first. Roy got up and walked to the window, opened the window and looked downstairs, it was a high-rise apartment building. I have always wanted to find the human civilization of the dark continent, and now I have found it, but the situation is not very good. After all, it seems to be controlled by people now, and those who try to control themselves have not made any movement so far. Although it is not clear what they are going to do, but anyway. The current situation is very bad for him, he has to figure out how to survive first. Roy is well aware of the horrors of the dark continent. If many creatures on this continent are bloodthirsty monsters, then the civilization on this continent is probably not very friendly. It is not easy for human civilizations to be born in such a dangerous environment, and this human civilization must survive in such an environment. That is almost a very difficult thing, and it can also be said to be an impossible thing, so the strength of this civilization is needless to say. Then it goes without saying how terrifying this civilization is, and it is definitely not that easy to deal with. Of course, it is not yet clear whether it is an enemy or a friend, so it is not possible to jump to conclusions. But Roy knew in his heart that the possibility of making the enemy more likely, after all, for this continent, it is equivalent to an invader. No matter which civilization or race targets the invaders, they have only one idea, and that is to wipe out the invaders. Roy didn't dare to act rashly, he was bored and observed his room, his room was well decorated, it wasn't a prison cell, which meant that they didn't have any malicious intentions. If they have any other ideas about themselves, they should be locked up or tied up. The decoration of this room can be seen from the hands of capable people. There is no conflict with his civilization at all. Presumably the civilization on this continent should also be divided into many sects. Roy now only prays in his heart that the side he is on is a strong one and a righteous one, so it's easy to say anything. Otherwise, it will be really troublesome to start your hands at that time. Suddenly there was a noise outside the door followed by a burst of chaotic footsteps. Then there was a knock on his door. Looks like they're finally taking action. Roy took a deep breath and looked relaxed. For him, staying in the room was too boring, and he didn't dare to go out rashly. He went up to open the door, but found no one, but there was food at the door. What kind of situation is this? Roy was a little confused. Is it time to eat now? I have to say it was really interesting, he put down the meal and left without even saying hello. 
This meal is no different from what he ate before, but he is afraid that someone with a heart will poison him. But Roy didn't care, and ate his food with big mouthfuls, and at the same time his windows were wide open, because he had already noticed that there were people watching him from the ten tall buildings opposite. To put it bluntly, his every move will be watched by others, and at this time he can't make any suspicious behaviors and actions. Just cooperate with them obediently, so as not to cause unnecessary misunderstanding and trouble. At that time, it will be really troublesome. Although I have the strength to fight hard with them, but after all, I am not familiar with the places on these roads, so it is better to blend in as much as possible. In order to avoid being chased and killed by people from the entire dark continent at that time, it will be troublesome. This kid is quite courageous, and he is not afraid of us cooking, but the food is so delicious. At the same time, on a certain high-rise building, a man wearing a suit and holding a telescope to observe everything in front of him raised his mouth slightly. The subordinate next to him looked solemn. Sir, shouldn't this guy be locked up for trial? Why are you treating him so well now? On this continent, they often directly clear away outsiders, and will not allow outsiders to take root and survive in this place. What's more, this guy is making a big fuss in that jungle, and being able to come out of that jungle alive shows that this guy is not easy. In terms of strength, it is definitely not weak, so no matter what. This guy must be liquidated, not being able to live is the rule between each of their civilizations. Roy studied his tremor fruit after eating. This thing. Roy frowned, he couldn't figure out why it was like this. The Junjun fruit is very different from other ordinary fruits. It can make humans emit super powerful sound waves to attack the enemy, and is immune to physical damage, and it also has extremely high speed. But Roy felt that this kind of fruit seemed to lack something. He was thinking in his mind, and suddenly his eyes lit up. So that's it. Roy finally knew why the fruit ability of the Junjun fruit was divided into two parts, and also found the problem. That is, the fruit of the Junjun fruit cannot be superimposed. The vibrating fruit can transmit sound waves to the surrounding air and even electromagnetic waves, but it can only be transmitted to a space, so its fruit ability is broken down into two parts. One is sound waves, and the other is electromagnetic waves. But both of these are purely transmitted by sound waves, so Roy has to use the shaking fruit to produce the effect. So it's like this. Roy rubbed his chin, although the power is much weaker if there is no superposition, it is better than nothing, and it also means that I can use multiple vibrations to attack at the same time. Enemy. Roy put his hands on the table, fingers crossed, and tapped lightly on the table. In this case, let's take a look at the power first. Roy thought, a strange feeling rose from his body, and then Roy heard rumbling thunder. This feeling is very strange, as if Roy has turned into a giant full of thunder, every muscle in his body is tense, ready to let out an earth-shattering roar at any time. At the same time, Roy also felt another strange feeling, that is, his spirit seemed to be affected by some unknown things. Could it be? Roy's face suddenly changed, and he felt as if his consciousness had been pulled to an inexplicable place. This is a barren desert, the earth is covered with yellow-brown gravel, dust and rotten smell are everywhere. Roy stood on the edge of the desert and looked into the distance. He vaguely saw the outline of a city, and then looked carefully again but lost the trace. Something was wrong, but what was wrong, he couldn't tell, it was weird anyway. He has never had this feeling before. Could it be that the food he just ate was poisonous? But if the food just now was poisonous, it would be even more different, which means that the food just now was far from thunderous. But what happened to make four like this?